What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Florida. You got me Solomon here and uh, this is actually about four weeks ahead of time. Um, beard's gone. Got another truck over here and uh, I actually started cleaning this before I just did my big trip and uh, now we got back. It's time to finish this up. So here is footage from four weeks ago when we got this and started taking some stuff apart and cleaning it and then we're gonna catch up until now so uh enjoy what is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of ford area you got me solomon here today and we just got this 1972 f-350 crew cab delivered and uh this thing is pretty cool got this truck out of valdosta georgia and it looks like the truck came from jasper florida it used to be a uh, auto repair truck which makes me kind of hopeful that it might run and drive with a little bit of work but Right now, it needs a good cleaning. Let me uh, give you guys a walk around to how nasty the outside of this and inside of this thing looks. So, um, I'm actually gonna put some photos right over here so you guys could see where this truck was picked up from. One of my buddies told me about this thing and uh, it ended up being real. We ended up picking it up and then Greg delivered it last night in the dark. So now is my first time actually taking a chance to look at it. So this window is broken. So that's why the interior got kind of really thrashed and uh, it was sitting out in that field. I don't know for how long it's missing some stuff, but majority of the important parts are here. The truck's not very rusty. There's the guy gave me another window to replace it with, but the roof is nice and solid and straight. Cap corners are good. It's an F350 long bed and uh, it's got this whole contraption on it. I'm gonna be cutting that off here shortly. And then uh, we're gonna do super clean, magic eraser, power wash. The bed of this thing is loaded. So I gotta clean all of that junk up. And then got a lot of work to do on this side. I'm gonna get rid of the steps. Covered. Let's see if we get this hood popped. Ah, there we go. All right, so pretty sure that's a 390, and uh, I don't know what this stuff is, but it comes with a lot of it. Some might call it rust. So I'm gonna bust the vacuum cleaner out. I'm gonna start out with uh, vacuuming everything, cleaning up the bed, get all of this stuff out. Then I'm gonna torch the bed thing off and uh, give her a good clean. And I'm gonna keep you guys on and watching. So uh, enjoy all the montages. guys so just got the bed mostly clean filled up two and a half bags so now I'm gonna grab the vacuum cleaner and get the rest of it all right well looks like the battery died but finished vacuuming all this out and uh, now I'm gonna cut off the top of the cage and uh, keep it moving, enjoy. Now, we can see the entire bed. Just flip that thing over there, and uh, it's a little bit rusty. Gonna need a new bed floor. Now we're gonna get the rest of the 
railing off and uh, yeah bring you all along all right guys so now I need to cut because they welded this to the side so I'm gonna cut that got a couple of my benchmark abrasives four and a half little power tool here comes the time lapse wasn't recording that entire time all right well just got the rack all the way off now I'm going to vacuum up the rest of the stuff that's now came down and then uh, we can finally move on to some other stuff Just finished vacuuming up the interior and it's getting really dark so i will see you guys in the morning all right guys so it's the next day and uh let's get back onto the truck so as you guys saw yesterday removed the entire contraption that they had up here it's sitting out there for the scrap people to come take it and uh i vacuumed up the floor a little bit over here in the front on this side started getting after the back and then it just started getting dark, so I stopped. So right now I'm gonna continue cleaning out the interior and vacuuming that, and then we're gonna get onto the exterior. So uh, enjoy the time lapses. All right guys, so we're back, it's another day, and uh, gonna get back on cleaning the interior. So got the back of it pretty much ready for uh, vacuuming. Move on to the front, so whatever trash we need to. guys so that looks super good it's all looking nice and clean so now I gotta go get another hose because I punctured our regular hose gonna go get that now and then uh, come on back and start power washing this bad boy four to six weeks later I actually started cleaning this before I just did my big trip and uh, now we got back it's time to finish this up That was uh, one half of it. Looks way better already. See, as you guys can see, now it's very dull and like a faded red. So I'm gonna show you how to bring that back soon. But uh, right now I wanna take a second and tell you guys about this new t-shirt that we have that is on the website right now. And um, you guys could go get it. We have all of them in stock. So it's the Goldust shirt. So on the front, it's got the front of Goldust. And then on the back, got a really cool design so we're doing these right now $30 including free shipping while supplies last head over to fordera.com and uh, now I'm gonna set the camera up and uh, keep power washing I 
just finished power washing the whole truck and it is looking really good. So that's just step one. Now what we're going to do is get some super clean and magic eraser and go over the entire body. You can see that the white comes through a little bit on the letters and it's just looking really nice. It's clean to the touch. And uh, now you just need to get all this type of dirt off. And that's what super clean will do. And it should be a vibrant red when we're all done with it. So here we go. All right, everybody. So it's the next morning. I wanted to let the paint uh, get nice and dried. I mean, it's not like it was wet paint, but it was wet, like moisture wet. So now it's all dry and it is looking really good. Um, my favorite thing is just that you could actually see back down to what you're working with. And then if you want to get it shiny from this point, what you would do is a full wet sand and buff. And I still might do that to kind of bring this out and let it pop some more, but it's so nice and clean. Turned out super good. I still, I didn't power wash the inside of the bed yet or super clean the inside of the bed. I need to do that. But all the exterior is done. It's looking really nice. And uh, now I'm going to move on to finishing cleaning the interior. I want to take out I want to take out the bench seat, remove the carpet, and uh, just see exactly what we're working with. Um, so I am going to do that now. Most likely I'm just going to time lapse it or show you guys a before and after. So we'll figure that out right now. Hey boys and girls, so we're back, another day. I know this video seems like it's just taken forever and it felt like it's been taken forever, but we are all clean on the interior. I have to take out, it had some patches that you guys saw right there and there, but the rest of the floor is really nice and solid. So just needs front floorboards, pretty basic. And uh, the back's nice and solid. All the door jams are good and it's really, really clean actually got it all cleaned up trucks starting to really take shape I got the bed all cleaned I uh, went and I uh, wire wheeled the entire thing made a bunch of a mess but it looks really clean now I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it like this or if I'm gonna pour 15 just the floor to kind of seal it in um, I was also thinking about probably just cutting out where it's really rusty and uh, just that way I don't have a bunch of jagged edges and maybe trying to fix it but I'm not sure because this truck I actually bought um, to just clean it up I was going to 4x4 four four, axle swap it and then sell it um, but I'm thinking about selling it now I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag here We're at the end of the video anyways I'm moving uh, about two hours away so this whole shop everything here all of it's gonna be getting packed up and I'm gonna be selling some stuff instead of taking it with me. So this truck is for sale. I still need to finish. I'm gonna put that little front piece on it. I got a D for it, gonna take those off, take the running boards and just some other stuff. 
and uh, it should be ready to go. But if any of you guys want it, um, I haven't posted it for sale, so this is the only place that anybody's seen it. So if you want it, shoot me an email, sl at fordera.com, and uh, you might be able to uh, snag that baby. And then this truck is another one I'm gonna be selling, and this is the 71. It's a long bed, single cab. It's clean. It starts off the carburetor, like off a, like a jug, but it does not drive. Caribbean turquoise, super clean um, paint, like really nice. It's got a little bit of rust. This one doesn't have any holes in the floorboard. The interior is actually kind of nice, just torn up bench, but it does have a little bit of rust in the bed and uh it would just make a good shop truck i'm only asking uh asking four grand for this baby it's got a clean title it's got a 302 and an automatic so four thousand to the first person who wants that thing and uh let's see i don't know probably uh i'd say for this i'm probably going to be asking i think i'll ask sixteen thousand or best offer and this one also Clean title, um, F350 crew cab, original color, but it has been repainted to this color. Um, and you guys have seen everything about it, so there's nothing to hide. I'm gonna end this video right over here. Um, if you guys haven't yet, head on over to FordArea.com. I got that new t-shirt that's actually on here now. It's my Gold Dust t-shirt, $30 with free shipping anywhere. I also have the, a bunch of these, the classic three truck t-shirts left. These are also $30 with free shipping. And then as always, if you guys haven't yet, smash that like button. If you don't follow us, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, drop them down below. And we will see you in the next video.